Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? Georgia Picker, yo, we got some packages to pack up, so we got to get to work. So pretty much uh, not a whole lot going out today, um, but we did uh, sell a little bit, so I'm, uh, I'm proud of that. Um, but the thing is, I have not been listing for the past two or three days now because we have been killing it in storage units. Life just is getting kind of crazy, so I, I need to sit down, settle down before next week because we're going to be potentially getting another three units. <laughs> so, um... I need to sit down uh, tomorrow, then throughout the rest of the weekend, to really uh, sit down and start listing a lot more like I did uh, last week. So, that's what we got to do today. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, man, hit the subscribe button. It will definitely help your boy out and continue this, uh, this content that we're doing, you know. So, hope you guys are enjoying it, though. Um, but anyways, but we have 15 items going out for $261.53. So, not a whole lot of money, but at the end of the day, we're still selling stuff. So... Even with the lack of listings, so I'm I am I am happy with that. So let's go ahead and get to pulling. All right, guys. So the first item going out is something that is uh, something that I literally have maybe like a penny into. Uh, I'm already well in the green on this deal. This was from I believe trip storage unit buy or one of his garage sales i'm not 100 sure like i said i got pennies into it didn't sell for a whole lot so i'm only making maybe like a dollar uh but it's it's uh star wars resistance tech rose force link, uh link figure uh and it's gonna be in and it's gonna be in b3 all right guys b3 is gonna be right here and there it is right there <laughs> uh like i said this thing's very cheap uh it is uh messed up right here on the side which we did uh disclose that this sold for 4.99 free shipping all right guys next thing going out is going to be a lego 7410 orient expedition jungle river uh sealed lego thing <laughs> uh we got this from one of the uh storage units and uh, this is going to be on r1 and i was very surprised about it because uh, it's it's brand new sealed. Um, this is really cool. I believe this one. Where was this one at? I honestly, I honestly don't remember. We did disclose the uh, box was a little damaged, but they did not care about it. Uh, but that's sold right there for forty four ninety nine plus shipping, fifty three dollars and forty seven cents. All in on this piece. All right, guys. Next thing going out is going to be a Bugs Bunny Double Trouble for the Genesis. It's the cart only, and it's going to be in D two. And I've had these for a very, 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 very long time. <laughs> um, I don't even think I was recording at the time of me uh, getting these. Um, a long time ago, whenever I was getting into eBay before I started recording, I got a lot of video game stuff. And uh, as you guys can kind of see here, a bunch of video games in there that has been it's been a minute <laughs> uh this didn't sell for a whole lot but you know some games don't sell for a whole lot but the way this label looks um we did test it and uh the card is actually pretty pretty decently clean uh this right here sold for 6.99 free shipping all right guys next thing going out is going to be a book um normally i do not sell books um but in the exception of this one uh whenever i clean out storage units i will ponder through the books kind of scan them and kind of see like what things are selling what's not usually i donate the books um but there's occasional where i'll keep you know a handful of them and this one is just happened to be that uh this is going to be a making things move do it yourself mechanisms for inventors hobbyists and artists uh just a book uh it's gonna be on r1 uh, I didn't sell for a whole lot, but like I said, at the end of the day, whenever you guys do storage units, just another you know another tip that I've said numerous times, you have to kind of milk some of the you have to uh, milk some of the uh, <laughs> some of the items you get. Uh, and this is one of the things that I, it actually intrigued me. That's the reason why I looked it up. Um, but it uh, this is what it is. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this sold for seven sixty five plus shipping, eleven ninety five all in on this book all right guys next thing going out is going to be a dorbs figure we haven't sold one of these in a hot minute um this is going to be howard the duck uh dorbs number 183 and if you guys actually look right here he's right here in the back pretty pretty easy to find because i don't sell a whole lot of dorbs but uh this was on uh from the very first funko pop buy for 540 dollars we already made astronomical amount of money on this uh so i'm pretty excited um but this uh howard the door this howard the duck dorbs sold for 649 free shipping all right guys you guys know the deal 
uh, we sold uh, one of those vault dwellers uh, for two dollars and seventy four cents plus shipping eight sixty nine all in. I don't put the sold comps on those because it's kind of the same thing, different day. So. Uh, but we did sell a video game, a couple of video games. The first video game going out is going to be Sonic and All Stars Racing, uh, transformed for the Nintendo Wii U. Um, this one I did not make a whole lot of money. Um, and to be honest with you, and it looks like uh, it's going to be this one right here. I'll explain this in a sec. So well, right now, so with this particular game, <laughs> so this is not. This is not the ideal game that I would buy for four dollars. So I bought this for four bucks at a garage sale. Uh, the lady had a bunch of like a bunch of books on a bookshelf in her garage sale, and I just randomly saw this sticking in there like this. And uh, I asked her how much does she want for it. She was like, she's like, give me five bucks for it. And I was like, eh, I don't really know because the cover's kind of you know a little messed up, or whatever. And I was like, would you do two bucks? And she's like. She's like, uh, how about four? And then I try to talk her down to three. And she's like, come on now, four dollars. Like, yeah, that's a good game. Give me four bucks. So I was kind of pressured into buying this. <laughs> All right, but enough of me rambling about it. We did make uh, about a dollar fifty off of it or something. Uh, this sold for six forty nine plus shipping, eleven dollars and seven cents. All in on this Wii U game. All right, guys. Next thing going out is going to be a Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm uh, Revolution Xbox three sixty game. This does not come with the manual. And this should be right there. Um, I don't, like I said, with, with video games, it's really hard to keep up with where I buy them. I, usually they're at garage sales. Uh, some of these have came from uh, storage units, so this could be from a storage unit as well. I'm not 100% sure. The only thing I do know 100% sure of that it did sell. <laughs> uh, this right here is sold for $11.95 free shipping. All right, guys, next thing going out is going to be a Verifone PinPad 1000 SE credit card terminal uh, PinPad. I got this uh, from that first storage unit. It's going to be an M6 uh, where it was a pawn shop owner uh, that owned it. And we found this and, you know, we're going to, we, we sold it. So, um, like I said, at the end of the day, make sure you guys are milking whatever you guys can out of uh, storage units. This is a, a very clean piece. Um, but yeah, it came, comes with a little cable and everything. Uh, this right here sold for $9.99 plus shipping $19.33 all in on this piece. Um, but yeah, this was, uh, this was just really cool. Um, I never sold one of these before, but whenever you guys do storage, just like I said, milk everything possible. Um, do garage sales, obviously donate whatever you want to donate. Uh, if you can get 50 cents for a piece of clothing, a dollar, every little bit helps when it comes to storage units because at the end of the day we're looking for that crazy treasure uh you know like the gun that we found and anything else uh, of that caliber but you know those are things that we that we look for at the end of the day all right guys next thing going out is going to be another video game uh it's kind of weird some weeks i'll have a bunch of video games going out then some days it's just eh i don't we don't want to sell a video game but <laughs> i'm not going to complain uh but with this uh ps1 game is going to be mortal kombat mythologies uh sub-zero i'm pretty sure i got this one uh, out of a storage unit. Um, I believe it was the one where we found the uh, quartz heater. Um, what else did we find in there? Oh, the one with all the books and paperwork and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, that's what sold, and we got to grab it. And looks like there it is right there. So, this one apparently, this is a black label one, which obviously is a black label, but I think the, the black label ones are more valuable. Uh, this right here sold for $25 plus shipping, $31. And 89 cents all in on this piece all right guys next thing going out is going to be an empire level 908 br 8 ounce brass plum bob yeah <laughs> so i got this from a storage unit it was in a uh, red toolbox and i don't remember where we got that red toolbox from like i've cleaned up so many storage units now it's kind of hard to keep up um but inside the toolbox i kind of just randomly went through it and i found this uh brand new packaged uh brass bob thing it's gonna be an m1 by the way um found it and i was like eh, i'll scan it see what you know see what it goes for and it, it goes for some okay money all right m1's right here i can't see you guys so maybe you guys can kind of see in there but there it is right there um but yeah that's all this at the very bottom of the toolbox it's a very small one 
it's one of those lids that come up and it has like that compartment down low uh but yeah this bad boy right here sold for $14.99 free shipping so not a whole lot of money but end of the day we milking the storage units all right guys i want to reiterate again uh we sold another vault dweller uh funko pop uh and uh sold for 274 plus shipping 878 all in going to get that out of the way uh no lifeline funko pops which is weird but the next thing going out is going to be a utilitech outdoor timer with remote control outlets um, I got this at a garage sale. They actually got two of them uh, for two dollars a piece So I have four dollars invested into this uh, these two both of them sold uh, my only two that I sold uh, It's gonna be a c4 which Oh, there's one right there and then that's the other one. So yeah So these two bad boys right here sold to the same buyer Like I said, I got two dollars a piece into this and both of these sold for $25.98 uh free shipping so 28 dollars 29 all in on uh these timers okay one of my coolest things that i think i sold today not for crazy amounts of money but uh we got this from a storage unit it is a vintage leonard silver plate footed water pitcher it's gonna be an l5 <laughs> uh yeah but this was really cool um that i found it and like I said, in the, the day, we research everything here. We make sure to go through everything in a storage unit. We look up every single brand, anything and everything that we possibly can. Uh, we did make sure to put all this in the description. It is kind of kind of ewe looking, but somebody might be able to polish that up. Uh, I just didn't do it, um, but it's still sold. We disclosed all that in here. And this right here sold for $11.99 plus shipping $20.69 all in on this picture. But this right here was a really cool find. Like I said, not a crazy amount of money, but the milking is in process. I know it's weird that I'm saying milking. I, it's, it's weird, I know. <laughs> it's like, for some reason, whenever I get a, a word in my head, I constantly say it. But when it comes to storage units, man, just, you know, just do what you can. Uh, but what's really cool is this next sale actually just came in uh, right before I started uh, uh, recording. Uh, a while ago, I don't think I ever got it on film, um, but I bought, uh, this lady was really into like Kentucky Derby stuff, right? And, uh, they're based out of, uh, Churchill Downs, um, Kentucky. So, uh, she had a bunch of Kentucky Derby mugs. Um, I'm actually back in the green on this deal now. Uh, so I talked to her and originally she wanted like two bucks a piece for them and I asked uh, her daughter I was like hey listen there's 23 of them here if I bought them all would you do a dollar a piece and she 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 agreed to that so I got a dollar into each one uh, but overall we're already in the green this one is the 143rd licensed Kentucky Derby coffee mug and it's going to be uh, an M1 I'll pull that lid right there and this is gonna be it right here so uh, yeah so whenever you guys are you know reselling and stuff like that Make sure you guys are looking into every little thing possible. As you guys can see here, it says Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> $14.99, but that's not what we got out of it. But I was happy to see this go. I had it up there for $14.99. Uh, he sent me a best offer of $9, so I accepted, and that's what this sold for. $9 plus shipping, $19.33 in on this mug. So, if you guys just look at just this right here, you're looking at $250 uh, worth of items. Well, minus the two Funko Pops. But all that right there is going to be so easy to ship. My shipping costs will be low, and that is what it's all about. But that's everything that's going out. And yeah, so if you guys do enjoy my videos, I'm telling you, man, I'm working hard, man. Uh, doing the storage units. I'm waiting on garage sales, you guys. I promise you, it's just... There, there's no good ones going out. I have been looking into uh, estate sales. Uh, Pick and Ship uh, told me the website to go to. Uh, I believe it's uh, estatesales.net. I've been looking. There's a few of them coming up in February. Um, but uh, until then, we're focusing on storage units right now, unfortunately. Um, but either way, they're still really fun to do. Um, and, but eventually, we are going to be doing the garage sale thing. We just have to get there. And hopefully, uh, Georgia picks back up. <laughs> so, uh, as always, man, this is Georgia Pick of the Young Jedi. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Hit the post notification bell. And uh, any kind of constructive criticism, please let me know down below as well. Much love. Thank you guys so much for over 400 subscribers. You guys are insane. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.